All right. Hello, everybody. Venom Lion here, and welcome to To the Moon. Now, I was really trying hard, guys, to record episodes of Horizon Zero Dawn, but uh, god damn, man, it's so broken. Uh, I still can't play it. It keeps on crashing. I played like 15 minutes before it crashed on me again. Uh, so I don't really know what to do at this point. I really needed like a new game to play and a good friend of mine suggested that game to me. Uh, it's a really different game from the others that I've played on the channel, I think. Um, it's a narrative heavy game, pretty short. So you know what? I'm just going in blind and we'll see. I don't even know what this game is about. So let's begin. It's in 4-3, so I don't like that, right off the bat. 16 by 9, widescreen, come on. The game is looking pretty good though. The music is gorgeous, enjoyed that a lot. But I need a controller to play that. Is somebody dead already? God damn. Yep. No! Is that a cat? Is that a motherfucking cat? Where were you looking, Neil? Well, excuse me for heroically evading that squirrel coming out of nowhere. Alright, it's a squirrel. I don't care if it's dead, whatever. Cats, not good. Squirrel, eh, I'm all right. You ran over it, anyway. oh, <laughs> rip, it's dead. Oh, <laughs> you ran over it and hit a tree, yep. Look, don't worry, it's a company car. Are you kidding me? The boss is going to kill us. Mm, we'll just say I was saving a puppy. Okay, what? He likes puppies, right? <laughs> you killed an animal and crashed the car. Yeah, you, you... That was just a bad move. Also, he happened to, like, go in between the rails. The only spot where there wasn't any rails, that's where he went. Like, he failed on so many levels there. He's more of a cat person. My man. My man. Why does the world have to be so complicated? <laughs> hey. <laughs> Relatable, am I right? Fine, whatever furball he fancies, crisis averted. Good, go write that on your report later. Let's grab the equipment from the car and move already. Left click an object to interact with it. Okay, so is that an RPG? Retrieve equipment. Got the sucker, let's roll. Okay, what? Okay. Can we interact with the squirrel? <laughs> oh, come on, I crashed the car while trying to evade it. What more do you want? Not crash the car and evade it? Yeah? That's asking too much. What? It's kind of a fuck up. Alright. We're going to the arrow, I'm guessing. Hey, wait, don't forget the car. Just wanted to see if you'd remember. Remember what? Oh. How thoughtful of you. Alright, so we're just moving around. Alright. Okay. That's a big-ass boulder. Who put a boulder... <laughs> Who put a boulder here? You know what? I haven't thought of that. That is a very good question, though, because that boulder is inconspicuously right where I need to go. Maybe it's their security system. What? Cucumbers. We don't have time for this fluff. Okay, both these characters kind of suck. Cucumbers? What? 
Let's try pushing it out of the way. Maybe you could find a tree branch to jack it with. Wait. Or we could just call it a night and blame it on that. Oh, I got a choice here. Push it by hand, find a branch, abort mission and go home. Uh, finding a branch sounds like the best plan. Like, let's, let's be honest. Got a branch right there. Alright. That was very easy. Alright, this better work. What? I, I don't even... It deflated? It's some kind of an air ball. Uh, right, we need to get going for now. Right. What the fuck is that game, man? This is so weird. Uh, okay. That game was uh, really rated positively on Steam. Uh, I'm kind of wondering why at the moment, I'm not gonna lie. But, uh, you know. Alright, that's the mention where the kids are. Let's go there. Ma, they're here. Not a bad place to retire at, huh? I could do better. Alright, what? That looks like a nice mansion. Night shifts. Love him or hate him? You know the answer, you stupid owl. It's probably gonna be another all-nighter, you know. I know. And I doubt they'd have any coffee. Shut up. Who are we and what are we doing here? And the ocean waves will sing lullabies. Not through your blattering, they won't. Alright. Don't forget the equipment, moron. Alright. She's kinda right, like he was just transporting that, so... I don't get paid enough for this. For what exactly? What are you guys doing here? What's the deal? Act 1. I never told anyone, but I've always thought there were lighthouses. What? Dr. Watts and Dr. Rosaline, I presume. Thanks for coming on such a short notice. That's okay, I tend to be bad at predicting deaths as well. Oh, someone, some, somebody died? Are you the patient's daughter? Oh no, I'm just his caretaker. And these are my children, Sarah and Tommy. It's not exactly a 9 to 5 job, so Johnny lets us live here. I suppose this Johnny is our man. The man that's dying? Johnny? Listen, if it's a kid we're dealing with, I don't think we're the ones you want. No, no, he just prefers to be called that. He's upstairs right now with his medical doctor. Medical doctor, so we're not doctors. Come with me. Come on, grab that case and let's go. When my back breaks one day, I'll sue you with the insurance claim. Watts is very chill so far. Alright, received equipment, yep. Alright, let's head upstairs before I drop this. God damn, what? Stop being an asshole. Go upstairs. That's my goal. That is my goal. Okay, they're gone. 
Whoever gets there first gets to play the melody. No fair, you pushed me. Did not. Whatever, you get the boring two notes anyway. These kids can play though. I have no idea what this game is about. And even now, like, after playing it for like 10 minutes, I still have no fucking clue, guys. <laughs> Those kids are pretty good for their age. Hey, you're the one who said there was no time to waste. And incidentally, I'm the one who is carrying the weight of a small meteoroid. Meteoroid? Meteoroid? Whatever, that word is hard to say, guys. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah, come on. That that guy is dying. Hello? He's unresponsive at this point, but by the looks of things, he's still consciously hanging on. That's kind of dark. It's hard to say how long you'll have, but I would hurry. Hurry doing what? Ready to set up. Set machine down or look around first. I'm ready? What are we doing? So we need to do something before that guy dies. Which I'm assuming he will inevitably. Are you sure a common household power outlet is sufficient? No worries, we're the experts. Alright. Oh crap. <laughs> what a fuck up. Standard procedures, just keeping you on your toes. I have so many questions. How's he doing? He's dying! Not so well. If I were to stay, he's got just a day or two left. Alright. That's plenty of time. So you two can grant him any wish, huh? To try at least. Oh! Is that what we're doing? But we always succeed because we're awesome. So what's the wish? Oh! That took a turn. The moon. Oh, is that it? Is that as simple as that? Well... The moon? Yeah! To the moon! The moon. He wants to go to the moon. The geezers just keep on getting crazier, huh? So, can you do it? Can you get that man to the moon? It depends. She meant to say yes. Why don't you tell us about our client here? That, I don't really know much. Johnny's an odd man. Through the two years that I've worked here, he rarely spoke. He worked as a craftsman for most of his life, and his wife passed away two years ago. Oh man, that sucks. I don't really know many details. I would have known more if I were his paper boy for Pete's sake. Hey, right, what's you are really sensible, young man? That that's cool. Just just do your thing. Yeah, what's well, what's it's kind of like an asshole. All right, I get it. Well, I suppose if you look around the house, you might find some more info. I suppose Johnny wouldn't mind since he signed up for you too. Hmm, so be it. Okay. Alright, which one of us plays detective? Who goes to search the house? Player controlled. Oh. Okay, so I need to find someone to search the house. I don't know what that choice entails for me as a player. I don't even know what the gameplay of that game is. Like, I know nothing about that game. So, okay. Let's try to think about that critically. I'm two detectives or 
wish granters to people who are dying? Something like that? Watts clearly doesn't give a fuck about the old man. Rosaline seems more like she would give a fuck. Watts seems to be the guy who's handling the equipment and all that good shit. So I think he should stay there and handle his machine while Rosaline, the more sensible one, goes around to get her clues. So I will pick her for that task. Thanks for the offer, but I'm busy leaving a butt print on this chair. Wow, what sucks. <laughs> right, do continue. I think I made a good choice here. Tommy and Sarah can show you around. They're probably at the piano downstairs. All right, I can control with the mouse, all right? So, uh, what about this bookshelf? Woohoo! A selection of readings from medical journals. So, uh, the old man is a fan of medicine? Let's go outside, I guess. All right, the bathroom's normal. No sign of suspicious activity in here. Oh, well, there's portraits over there. A painting of a lighthouse by the cliffside. Painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. A painting of an animal of some sort. Yeah, what the fuck is that, man? Okay. A casual painting of three people. I... I... Wait, come back here for a moment. Okay, I have something for you. Alright. Is that a sword? Here, take this. It is a sword! Receive a remote patient monitor. That'll keep you updated on Johnny's status. Alright. Thanks, I was just going to ask for it. Johnny's heart monitor is now activated in the menu. Is it? Right there, I'm guessing. Okay. So, uh, our boy is uh, hanging on. That is good. Dr. Eva Rosaline, Senior Memory Traversal Agent, Sigmund Corp. We have some items and some notes. The game does feel rather unique at this point. I don't think I've ever played something like it before. I don't even know what it is yet, to be honest. So, there's that. It is currently that time. Alright, let's go talk to the kids. What you want? Uh, show me around the house. Sarah and Tommy, right? Your mother said to ask you two to show me around the house. Okay, maybe we will. No, no, you will. Fucking child. I think we just need a little convincing, that's all. What do you think, Tommy? Yeah! Oh my god, I fucking hate kids. Uh, what would you like? We want one trillion dollars. Fucking kids, man. Fucking kids. Oh, fuck yourself, kid. Or the candy cane mom hides from us. Yeah, or that. Yeah, that, that's way more manageable. There is a giant candy cane on top of a high shelf that we can reach. It's in the kitchen. Ma put it there to save for when we do chores. Get it for us and we'll give you a tour through the house. What'd you say? Well... Sure, I'll go get it for you. My mother used to keep candies on high shelves too. Alright, I'll go get it. The kitchen's door is right next to the stairs, now go. So, this place. That is a candy cane, alright. Oh, I'm too short too? God damn. Can I... Big brain right there. Big brain. Receive candy cane, hell yeah. Terrible calories. Yeah, probably full of carbs, too. Alright, nothing else in here. No clues whatsoever. Okay, I got what you wanted. Good old candy cane. If you come and give me a tour at this instant, I won't sneeze on it. Okay, where do we start? I know, there's this funny room in the basement. Is that a sex dungeon? My money is on a sex dungeon. I don't like that funny room. What do you mean by funny room? You'll see. It's weird. We need to get the keys though. The old man hid it inside a book in the study. Okay, so is that all this game is? Like just fetching stuff inside rooms? 
This is that book room. The key to the front room is in the thickest book on the upper shelf. That sounds pretty easy to do. That did not do anything. Can I read the... Maybe another year, okay. Okay, the room key was inside a book. Alright, it shows its hiding spot well. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the basement, boys. We can open the funny room in the basement now. Yeah, the sex dungeon. This is the basement. We play hide and seek here. Turn on the light before you trip over something. We used to find all kinds of cool junks here. Moldy books, moldy buckets, moldy cheese, you name it. Alright. Once we were down here and the lights were out and Tommy fell down those stairs. Good. Kids getting hurt, by the way. Not not severely hurt, just like, you know, like just, just a small little innocent hurt. Uh, makes me laugh a lot. It chipped a tooth, but that's okay because he's ugly to begin with. Her name shouldn't be Sarah, it should be Savage. Alright, let's, uh, let's, you know, let's check out what's that. Cabinet is filled with unused fine china. Box is filled with colored papers. Like, we got very interesting stuff here. The chest is locked. I need to find another key. Again. Alright, let's check out that thing. A dusty pile of Animorphs books sits there. Cool story. The door is locked. God damn, everything's locked. Open door with room key. All right, all right. Cool. It's like a cave in here. Is that the, the sex dungeon? A stuffed toy platypus. It looks admirable enough to annoy Neil. Might come in handy. Poke it or take... I, I'll take it. Receive toy platypus. Okay. A broken music box. The fuck is going on here? And why is the music spooky? Is that a fucking horror game? A rabbit folded out of paper. Origami. Okay, I, I can't seem to move in that room, so I'm just gonna back out slowly. Did you see it? What do you two know about all those rabbits? Nothing. The old man didn't want anyone to go inside, so we never told him. There are more of them, actually. Where? Inside the abandoned lighthouse. It's just beneath this cliff. Wanna go see? I got the keys. You aren't supposed to go in here either, are you? Hee <laughs> hee! Remind me to never take you to Neil's house. So, you wanna go see the lighthouse? Well, it's rather cold outside, but... Decision. Uh, stay and wait for the machine or go see the lighthouse. I mean, that shit's fucked up. I'm going to the lighthouse, man. You know what? Fine. Maybe it'll tell me more about those rabbits. Let's go check that old lighthouse out. Anything else down here while I'm here? Not really. Let's go. That's the lighthouse. There it is. We need to head south to the street and take... The other path to get down to it, though. Yeah, I forgot my parachute. Funny man, funny man. Alright, let's do that. Is that the way? That's where I come from, now. They did tell me to go to, sa to the south. Oh no! My novelty beach ball, someone broke it. Ah. It was stupid anyway. But, but it's the bestest novelty beach ball I've ever had. Oh, who could have been so cruel? Uh, look, I'll buy you another one. No, don't do it! You will? Sure, but we kinda need to get going right now. 
It's smoking. Who's the dummy that crashed the car? Not me. It's pretty dark out. Aren't you kids scared? Of course not. We roleplay it anyway. We roleplay what? What? Tommy's a super powerful knight and I'm a mighty magician. Yeah, we destroy all evil. Sure, kids. Oh, that's um that's nice. Do you roleplay too? <laughs> yes, but uh, you kids shouldn't be uh, knowing about that right about now, you know what I mean? <laughs> I, uh, no. <laughs> She's not cool enough to do it. No, you're just not grown enough to hear about that kind of roleplay, girl. Hey, I could if I wanted to. Just you children watch. Alright. Are you really letting two kids get to you, girl? Come on. Oh, a square, square will. Let's take it. I oh, know it's a terrible squirrel gone. Don't worry, children, I'll protect you. Is that a fucking turn based RPG? Attack the squirrel. Volcanic jump kick, whirlwind slap, Armageddon fist. Shoot. I, 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 I got a shoe. Yelling volume. Loud, louder, loudest. Loud? Your uh, time is at an end, squirrel gone. Yeah! Stop it, or we tell my you animal abuse. Yeah, she'll call the cops on you. What? I was just. I wasn't gonna. Didn't you say you like role playing? You should be ashamed of yourself. Let's name it Teddy. Okay. Let's just forget this happened. What the fuck is that game, man? Genuinely, what the fuck is that game? So I guess it's not a turn-based RPG. That's a title screen. Must be important. In memory of River E. Wiles. Wiles, Willis, whatever. River Wiles. Was she John's wife? Don't know. Come on, the lighthouse right here. Sure is. Let's go up. That, that, that's still creepy as fuck. This is it. There's another... A multicolored paper rabbit. 
Hey, this wasn't here when we came last week. Horror vibes for sure. Oh yeah, Johnny must have came here before you fell ill again. This is the only one with two colors, huh? You know, these things actually look pretty hard to fold. Kind of an odd obby though. Oh, that's my phone. It's Watts. Nice. Is everything ready? Alright, I'll be right there. Why do you have a creepy ringtone? It wasn't creepy. Because it scares the monsters away. Come on, let's head back. Received paper rabbit. Okay. Oh, why don't you be late for another half an hour? Not like we got a dying client or anything. Man, can I kill what? Can I murder his ass? I got caught up in something. I got caught up in something too. It's called our job. <laughs> Phony boy. Get off your high horse. I'm late just this one time and you milk it. At least tell me we're good to go. Of course we are, because I'm competent. You fucking crash a car into a tree, dumbass. Your helmet's on the couch. Chop, chop. My what? Initiate? Not, not yet. Sh sh initiate, bruh. Why not? Alright, here we go. What are we doing? What are we doing? Are we going inside his head? This should be the last accessible memory. Disabled speech for all except Johnny. Done, let's get him. At any time, you can view your position in time by moving the mouse towards the top of the screen. Oh! Doesn't do anything if I click though. Okay, so now we're fairly close to the present, I'm assuming? Okay, man, what, what is this game about? What, what are the mechanics? I don't know yet. I'm confusion. I am confusion! Alright guys, so this game is fucking weird. But I'm really kind of curious to see what even is the game and where it will lead us. So you know what, I will call it for today. I really don't have any idea what's going on, but we will find out in another episode. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I will be seeing you in the next episode of whatever the fuck that is. Have a good one.